What we recognize is that this pandemic presents a significant hardship for many, many, many people. And for a lot of us, it does rise to the level of trauma. Our bodies actually release more stress hormones. And those include things like adrenaline and cortisol. And they can have lots of effects on our brains and bodies. They can uh, uh, increase the risk for things like, you know, heart attacks or strokes uh, or having an experience or, of depression or anxiety. There's people who are coming in with unexplained symptoms of my arm feels weird, I'm tired, my chest hurts, I'm short of breath. And they've had extensive workups, been seen by doctors multiple times. And a lot of it's just the stress that people are experiencing because of the pandemic. Some kids, littler kids especially, may see some developmental regression. Some kids will have a harder time focusing. Some kids will have uh, more angry outbursts. Some kids, they'll have frequent headaches or tummy aches, right? Or their appetite will go way up or way down. And these are some of the things that we can look out for to recognize when a child is experiencing distress. It's a really devastating time for a much larger swath of the society than I think people realize. Uh, we estimate that of the 1.5 to 1.7 million restaurant and service workers in California, 1.1 million workers are out of work. The vast majority of our folks have absolutely no access to any kind of healthcare, they never did. And now it's a source of incredible stress, just incredible stress to think, what would I do if I got sick or my child got sick, what would we do? Rossi, Daniel, I, I wanna learn from you more about your own experience of having COVID-19 and what psychological toll that, that took on you? For me, although I felt sick physically with muscle aches, fevers, not being able to breathe particularly well, I was more affected emotionally because I was so worried about what was gonna happen to me. So for me personally, I think the biggest thing to start was all of the anxiety that came with it. I'd love to hear what each of you do to restore calm and focus at this time. I've tried to continue to do a lot of things that kind of keep me sane on the regular, which is continue to exercise, try to eat some healthy food. Um, I've been talking a lot more on the phone to family and friends, definitely, and trying to be kind of open and honest about how I'm feeling. What's keeping me sane is that I see a moment of opportunity here. Really, I see two pathways for us. Either we can go in a much worse direction because the pandemic has created a lot of serious trauma as we've all talked about, or we can use this crisis and moment of opportunity to act collectively and demand something totally different and much better than what we've had all along.